Alright, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network. Alright, y'all see what we got going on here. As y'all read the title, y'all see the thumbnail over the title. You know what I'm saying? This is dealing with paper route artists. At first, I had no clue. Again, I looked over it. But again, paper route artist and jealous associates backdoor Young Dolph and hit up his Young Dolph brother, Marcus Story, you know? So again, this is based on the paper route artist that's a, tied to this whole situation, whom happened to be paper route Woo. If y'all had paid attention to my last video I did, where well, I distinctly um, laid it all out by uh, size, height, everything, all in my last video, Y'all can see, and everything matches up perfectly. You know what I'm saying? So the people trying to understand, right? Who did Paper Route Woo to get to assist him? You know what I'm saying? But as always, you know, it's rest in peace to Young Dolph. Condolences to the family. Shout out to the Paper Route Empire. And much love to all my folks in Dolph land. Let's get back to the story at hand. Yeah, this is dealing with, again, Paper Route artists. Now the people want to know. Who did Paper Route Wu uh, associate with dealing with this whole young Dolph being sent up? Who did he connect to? Who was the other guy? You know what I'm saying? Is it uh, somebody from uh, Yo Gotti camp? Is it somebody from Black Youngster camp? Is it another Paper Route artist? And this, the thing is, are people that are questioning, especially the ones that are fans, the ones that are supporters, the ones that want justice. Uh, not only for, you know, his family, but for the, again, for the people that support a young Dolph, you know? Again, let's get back to it. So, Paper Route Wu. Is Paper Route Wu tied in with, did he did he flip sides and tie, with, tie in with, uh, uh, again, Black Youngster and Yo Gotti on that side? Or is this somebody, like I informed y'all, that Straight Drop had already said, he gave a hint that it's a Memphis OG that looped up um, Paper Route Wu and OG Bang Wayne. You know what I'm saying? Because again, even if y'all see OG Bang Wayne, he even lines up perfectly with the other guy on the right that's running. You know what I'm saying? Height, build, weight, size, everything just lines up perfectly, similar to Paper Route Wu. So people want to know how did them two parties connect? You know what I'm saying? And not only that, who else on Paper Route was tied in with Paper Route Wu to assist in sending Young Dolph up? Now, these are the questions that people are asking. You know what I'm saying? Because at first, I was one of them people. I looked completely over that it could be a, a Paper Route artist that's strictly involved with this whole situation. You know what I'm saying? I, I will, Some people could say that was naive. But me, I was just, again, I, I thought that them guys that was all on PRE was all loyal, you know, until certain things started coming out. Again, especially dealing with Paper Route Wu. Now, i seen some interviews with Paper Route Wu where Young Dolph had said some things that made him feel, um, uh, that made him feel like I'm very uncomfortable, I could say, you know. And it was pertaining to uh, Paper Route Wu basketball career and how Penny Hardaway used to have to call uh, Young Dolph to get Paper Route Wu to come back to school to play basketball because Paper Route Wu wanted to be in the streets. And the thing is, people was trying to use Young Dolph as the one who was making Paper Route Wu fall off from going to school and playing basketball. And Young Dolph was communicating with these people like, nah, that, that's his own thing. But what I'm saying is to sum it all up, that conversation, every time Dolph had that conversation about Paper Route Wu's uh, basketball, basketball history and things of that nature, um, he always feel a little salty. He always feel like he always feel very uneasy every time it's brought up. You know what I'm saying? So you got people that saying um, he don't like how Young Dolph played him on a couple of scenarios dealing with that and some other things. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, um, we can have our own. Uh, how can I say uh, synopsis or uh, motives on what we think Paper Route Wu motive was, but only him. He has his own motive behind whoever was above him to assist him into sending Young Dolph up. You know what I'm saying? Because he it could have been on his mind, but you have to understand, you got to make money to make things happen. You know what I'm saying? 
Paper Route Woo don't have money to have uh, Makita's owners and um, the employees be part of this. To have people who, uh, again, um, that's uh, at the gas station, just it, just the surrounding area. Like, you have to have a lot of pool, a lot of connect, a lot of resources. And we know Paper Route Woo is far from having that, but it is somebody above him, an uh, OG, that does have that. You know? But it still goes back to what was Paper Route Moon motive into wanting to send Young Dolph up. You know what I'm saying? Yes, we could tell. You know what I'm saying? Right now, we could tell that's allegedly Paper Route Woo in the pictures. You know what I'm saying? With the with the blicky. You know, that's, that's being aimed at Young Dolph. So at the same time, the people want to know, hey, like, that's how you do the person that put money in your pocket. That's how you do the person... To let you see the first hundred thousand, to let you see your first couple thousand, hundred thousand, you know what I'm saying? Like to let you uh wear diamond chains and all these things, man, and be around all these resources. Like, that's how you do the person that puts you on that, you know what I'm saying? That lifts you up at the time when you weren't taking your basketball career seriously. You know? And again, besides the basketball career, the people want to know is again, the person who fed you. Who fed not only you, your family. This is what you do. Based on what though? You know what I'm saying? Like you was mad at what? Paper route woo? Because again, like I'm telling y'all. Look at here. Look at this. Y'all can tell in the picture that I got. Right? Uh, under paper route woo. Right? Look it. That's the size, height, everything. And then this thing, right? R- remember I told y'all. Uh, I was letting y'all know that. Young Dolph brother. He's. He's even familiar with who's involved. That's the reason why the people got to keep him protected away from certain other people. Because, again, if they see Young Dolph Brother, some people may want to send him up just as well. Just like they tried to do the first time. Because they knew that Marcus Thorne knew the people who was doing the whole doing, doing the whole thing. He knew the person who was that up the blicky. He knew the person that was in the back room. He seen um, Maurice making all kind of moves like again Marcus Thornton has been around all like you could tell how people move even like if you five, five, 20 feet away from them because you've been around them so long you could look from a distance and say oh man that's fam I could tell by the way he walking oh man that look like blah 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 I could tell by the way he run these are the things that Marcus Thornton knew about that's the reason why they tried to after they sent Young Dolph up, they tried to send him up too. But my man, again, had the blicky on him and he could protect himself to a certain degree. You know what I'm saying? But again, right now, them people, you know, the Alphabet Boys, they got him in a, a safe place right now. You know? And again, this is based on that there's different people inside a paper route that, that's from Castilia, that's from Memphis, that's really tied in into wanting to send Young Dolph up. So the brother being the witness and seeing that, like, it's making a lot of people uneasy that they couldn't get him as well. You know what I'm saying? And again, I'm letting y'all know this because it's very, to me, it's just very odd that the person that looked out for you and your family, that you want to pay them back by sending them up. Like, what kind of mess is going on here, man? Like, and again, y'all know Dolph all, he didn't talk about loyalty because he said people don't understand loyalty, but he was big on loyalty. You know what I'm saying? He was big on, like, really distinctively picking ones in from Castilia or Memphis to be inside a paper route. Because everybody, like, when Dolph pull up, yeah, a lot of people want to, you know what I'm saying, like, be attached to that energy. But let's be real. Like, uh... Are you positive enough for that energy to attract to you as well? Or you just trying to suck the energy out of me like the rest of the people that has no loyalty. You understand what I'm saying? So going back, no one knew. I know I didn't. I, I'm not going to say no one. But I was one of the people that was very naive to it could that it could be a um, paper route route involved. That it could be possibly be Key Glock involved. I'm not saying from the beginning I was always like, nah, man. Key Glock, Jay Fizzle are the furthest two people I would think had anything involved in this. Again, Key Glock and Jay Fizzle. Even to the degree Snoop Bands as well. You know what I'm saying? Because they from the same hood, represent the same side, represent the same set. GDs, like I told y'all, you know. 
So again, dealing with that connection there, I always had it in mind like, nah, not Snoop Dance, not Keith Glock, not Jay Fizzle, but hey, I can't really put none pad. I only um paper raw woo. Let me then when I really start to line things up and I see how I match body type everything, I say, yeah, that's the guy. Hey, but it's always y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network.